Nearpod allows you to create lessons with multiple activities and as much content as you'd like. However, you can also create and launch individual activities or games. One such activity is the matching pairs activity that allows students to match answers and questions, vocabulary and definitions, etc. in order to help students work on memorization tasks. To start, click on the Create drop-down menu. From here, you can create a lesson, video, activity, or build off a Google Slide Deck. Click on the Activity button to access the Matching Pairs activity. Choose the Matching Pairs option from the Quick Start activities. These four activities are a sampling of Nearpod's most gamified and engaging options. Once your Matching Pairs game pops up, you have the option to add your own pairs or look at pre-made examples. You can scroll through the library of pre-made pairs or type in keywords to find a deck of cards that already matches your lesson. These pre-made sets often include a fair amount of production value, backgrounds, and images. Whether you create your own matching pair set or are adapting a pre-made set, you can write and edit instructions for the activity. Just click on the large box at the top center of the editing page. You can add or edit any existing instructions. Nearpod even has a built-in equation editor if your questions are mathematical. This way you don't have to copy and paste your equations from a third-party app. To create a new matching pair, click on the Add Pair button on the blank card template at the bottom of the editing page. In the Pair Editing pop-up, you can create two related cards. These can be a question and answer, a problem and solution, or a vocabulary term and its definition. These can be text only or include images and equations. Once you've completed editing this pair, click on the Done button. If you're adding multiple pairs at once, you don't need to click Done every time. Click on the Add Another Pair button in between editing pairs to save yourself some time. If you add an image to your pairing instead, you can upload a photo or pull it from cloud storage like Google Drive and Dropbox. Or you can search Google Images directly in the Upload pop-up menu. Use keywords to find the right image to match your question. Click on the image that you'd like to use and click Save. You can change the scale of the image, making it bigger or smaller, by zooming in and out. You can also click on the trash can icon to delete the image if you change your mind about it. To gamify the matching pairs activity even more, you can add a timer. Once you click Add Timer, choose the total number of minutes and seconds that students will be allowed to match. Then click Add when you're done. If you repeat the matching pairs activity as a review activity, for example, you can shorten the timer each time. Add a little bit more pressure each time. It helps to see the student side of an activity. Nearpod activities usually have a preview button that you can click. It will open the student's view of the activity itself. From the preview, you can play around with what happens when students incorrectly match pairs. If they need to see the card more closely, they can click on the arrows to expand the card. When the cards are correctly matched, the cards will turn green with a check mark. They'll stay highlighted in blue after they're matched so students don't accidentally rematch or mismatch them. Edits are saved in the preview as you work, but you need to click on the Save button to finalize any changes or updates that you've made to your matching pairs cards. The individual matching pairs activity is now part of a new lesson. You can add other activities or content to the lesson at this point, or click Save and Exit to return to your lesson library. If you want to return to edit your lesson and matching pairs activity, just click on the Edit button on the lesson in your lesson library. The Edit button is in the bottom left corner of the lesson itself. From here, you can click on the matching pairs activity to make edits and changes. You can add more content or click Settings. In the Settings menu, you can name the lesson. Type out a description of the lesson, including keywords or tags. Add a grade or subject to make the lesson easier to search for. You can also turn slide transitions on or off from here. Once you've edited your settings, click on Submit. If there is nothing else to add to your lesson, click Save and Exit. 
Once your lesson with the matching pairs activity is completed and saved, you can share it out to your students. If you click on live participation, you'll have control over the pace of the activity. If you click on student pace, students are in control of the activity. Once you launch the activity as live participation or student pace, Nearpod will share a code to allow students to join the activity. There are also sh options for sharing the link through Google Classroom or email.